What's going on everyone? If you like the videos I'm putting out on this channel, remember to hit that like button. And remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell, that way you get all my content right to your device every time I upload. And I thank you for your continued support. Ultra Instinct is Goku's most powerful form yet. And in the anime version of Dragon Ball Super, we kind of got two versions, I guess you can say, of Ultra Instinct. There was the original Ultra Instinct Omen, or Ultra Instinct Sign, that we saw in Super Episode 110. And then finally, during the final battle with Jiren, we saw mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. And that was Dragon Ball Super Episode 130, when we saw most of that fight. And the argument has been going on about which form was cooler or more impressive. So we're going to be discussing that here on this video. Now, as far as what we know, Toriyama did design Mastered Ultra Instinct, which is the silver-haired, gray-haired Goku. Omen appears to be something just for the anime version. So we're going to be pr primarily focusing on the anime for this discussion, not the manga, especially since at the time of the recording of this, we have not seen either Ultra Instinct form in the manga, and thus it probably won't even be there until the very end of this arc in the manga. So this will be about the anime, and joining me here to discuss Ultra Instinct Omen or Sign versus Mastered Ultra Instinct, please welcome back MJ, who was here just a little while ago talking about Kale. Here we go again. Right, and uh, I don't know, people have called me a super apologist, which I don't agree with, so I guess I'm the perfect person to bring on to talk about Dragon Ball Super. Well, this isn't a debate about whether or not Super was good or not, it's more so a debate about which form is cooler. Now, one thing that I will say is that during the airing of Super 109 and 110, that entire night was absolutely nuts. Now, uh, I think that with when 130 was airing, I think it was pretty crazy, but one, 109 and 110 was really, like, the most insane night since covering this. Like, since I started covering this, for me anyways. Um, that episode was the first time we heard a lot of the Ultra Instinct music, you know, the, the special jingles and whatnot, including Ultimate Battle. And seeing Goku achieve that power and actually be able to get a couple of hits in on Jiren was a very big deal. Now, that being said, I've often asked myself... If we never saw Ultra Instinct Omen, if they never did that, and we just only saw Mastered Ultra Instinct in the anime, would that have made Mastered Ultra Instinct more impactful? And I think the answer is yes. I agree with you, because I feel like a lot of people give Mastered Ultra Instinct shit, you know, because of Omen. You know, I feel like we saw Omen so many times, and you're right, there was like a lot of magic that night if you will like youtubers content creators fans everybody was popping that night and i feel like because of how special that night was ultra instinct omen left a i don't know it left something on the fans but then once we got to 130 or i guess before that because we actually found out about master ultra instinct before that right with toriyama's design so once we yes. got to that people were already complaining and all that stuff and they felt it took away from ultra instinct it was like another hair change and it was another form and the anime we had omen so it was like goku got two transformations in one tournament I, you know you know one yeah. arc so it's like i think that really exactly yeah i think people were really upset about that so if omen wasn't in the anime and we just got the silvered hair version i think people would like that form a lot especially this is what it did you know you, you know, and I think the debate is also which form, when you talk about which form is cooler, uh, I think a lot of it has to do with what we saw from the form. Because when we first saw Ultra Instinct, the original form, the Omen version, you know, it was very emotional, that whole night was crazy. Then we saw it again when he fought Kefla, and that was great too, because that was a, a really great Kamehameha. Uh, we learned more about the form through Whis. You know, there was a lot of good stuff in that episode. So I think that Ultra Instinct Omen definitely got a lot more TV time. You know, when you add in like 110 and then, you know, 116 or whatever episode that was, plus when we saw him fight Jiren with it and closer to the end, you know, Omen did get more TV time. But, you know, Master Ultra Instinct definitely got a lot more of a condensed time in episode 130. And with that said, you know, I've, I like. Okay, I like both of them, but I've gone on record before that I am I feel like Dragon Ball Super overdid it with the new transformations. And I feel like, you know, not to mention besides just that, we got to see Kale transformation, uh, transforming in that arc for the first time into her Berserk form. Uh, it's not really, a, it's a new version of the old Broly form, but it's the same thing. And also we got to see Vegeta get the new blue form. So, I mean, again, it's like there's a lot of new transformations, and I think that Super overdid it with transformation. So I feel like... 
Yes, like, I feel like that did take away from Master Ultra Instinct, but nonetheless, it doesn't take away from the fact that Goku was totally a badass in Master Ultra Instinct. No, I agree with you, and I think it even is more simple than just, you know, us getting more TV time with Omen. I think you just look at Ultra Instinct Mastered or Mastered Ultra Instinct, and I don't know, man. There's just something about that silver hair. It, that aura and the silver hair, it looks cool, but... I think it just looks better with the base hair, you know, with the black hair and that aura. I think that overall just looks more badass, if that makes sense. And I prefer Omen. However, though, I do want to bring up something that you and I were actually talking about before this recording. And that was Omen having a better usage of the whole dodging and all that stuff. I've seen people actually say this before. Where the reasoning to why they like Omen more is because they feel a utilize what makes Ultra Instinct special. Yes, I I, mean, I see where they I see where they're coming. From. I see where they're coming from, but I don't necessarily agree with that because they say that Ultra Instinct mastered versus Jiren was a regular old DBZ fight, and while that is the case, I mean, so was Omen. Don't get me wrong; it had that badass Bruce Lee homage, which everybody popped for. And again, I want to plug a quick video for Danny on his channel. <laughs> go check out the Ultra Instinct Explain video. And we go into the whole Bruce Lee stuff. I edited that for them. And that was an awesome video. But nonetheless, while that moment was cool, it did kind of turn into a DBZ fight, bro. It's like Jiren and Goku start swapping hands for the majority of 110, like a regular old DBZ fight. And I Yeah, but that was also because Jiren was also getting faster too. That's because I mean, he's getting faster. They, yeah. I just don't really see the argument to that because I feel like... Yeah, that cool Bruce Lee homage was there, but Goku did, like, dodge everything from Jiren in 130 until Jiren got, like, I, I, that rage boost or whatever it was. You know what I mean? No, I mean, it, it's it's an interesting debate because I feel like, in my opinion, again, this is my opinion, Ultra Instinct Omen, and at the time, we didn't even know there was going to be a Master Ultra Instinct. We knew that Goku would eventually figure out how to master the technique. We didn't know it would actually look different. If you go back to... When those first episodes had aired, episode 109 and 110, again, we did not know at the time there was going to be a silver-haired Goku. In fact, some people thought it was going to be like a red aura based on that original teaser poster for the four. Right, right. We never, we, we, we never got that. But um, one thing that made Ultra Instinct Omen special, and I actually think that this is why I like the four more, is that it was essentially Goku. It's a very simple transformation. It's all aura-based, you know, with the CGI and, and computer graphics effects they use in the anime to show the aura, to show the key, but also the silver eyes, you know, looked really, really creepy. Not in a bad way, but creepy. Like, this dude is serious kind of creepy. Like, it looked pretty awesome. And I love how the form is really just not so much a, quote, transformation, even though it is transformation. It's more so a state of being, a state of mind, which either way, mastered is the same thing. They're both transformation slash state of mind. There, there's really not a debate on that. They qualify as being both, but I feel like right. Omen, because it was more tied into Goku's base form, I always thought was just cooler. Plus, I felt like what they were going to end up doing, and this wound up not happening, is they would tie it into the end of Z with Goku fa fight, fighting Oob and uh, eventually say that maybe he mastered Ultra Instinct so much that he was able to just use it without it without his eyes even going silver or gray or whatever. Um, and right. I always thought that was I always thought the eyes was just more simplistic. And you know, again, when you see mastered Ultra Instinct, it's just another palette swap. It's Goku's hair changing color again. You know, he goes from black to red to silver in his regular Goku kind of hair, and then you have the blue form and yellow. So you have all these different kind of colors, and I just feel like, you know, if you're going to go a color palette route, a simplistic route, I like Omen more because he had black hair and it was the eyes they focused on. Really, the whole thing was about the eyes because it was no longer him really being conscious of who he was. It was all instinctual, and I love that about that form. I mean, Mastered Ultra Instinct is definitely stronger because that's the form that defeated Jiren, albeit for a very short time. <laughs> Omen, Omen couldn't get the job done, but as far as which form I liked more, I kind of wish they would have stuck with the original Omen form and just sort of maybe given him a, a more more intense... Um, power up if that makes sense i don't know maybe i'm maybe i'm not making any sense right now but i like it more i like omen a little bit more no, but no also I, I get you i get you 
But, but we got to be careful, dude, because that first night, I mean, 130 was awesome. It was one of the best looking episodes of Dragon Ball ever. But 109 and 110 was an emotional roller coaster. You know, they made us think Goku died. I didn't think he really died. But, you know, he comes back. We have Beerus saying he's coming. And we have, like, the you know, him doing that, that angle where they zoom in on his eyes, where they have the first person view with the big kick. Like, that episode was produced masterfully. And I feel like that episode was way more ambitious than 130. But we have to be tricky because that's what the show will do to you. It'll trick you by giving you a, a better presentation, so to speak. So, I don't know, man. I think I think Omen wins out. What do you think as far as cooler form? I do agree that Omen takes it. I overall just like the way Omen looks with the black hair and everything and the silver eyes. And I don't know, like I said, bro, the silver hair and the aura just doesn't look that great to me. But I will say this, though. Toei was smart because when you actually go back and watch episode 129... There is a lot of dialogue there about why Goku's going to master, like how Goku's mastering this form. And I do appreciate that they use the Omen fights prior to explain that. It was like each time he went into that state of being, he was getting closer to the silver hair version. And then like Whis gives that whole monologue about the heat and how Goku doesn't have that, 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 I forgot what he says, but he doesn't have that fear in him or something like that anymore. And Goku's like fighting Jiren with his eyes closed. All leading up to where he gets the silver hair version. I do like that. That was kind of cool. But nonetheless, I do like Omen more. Yeah, and also, um, 129, wasn't that the episode where they reused a whole bunch of anime? Yeah, that's, oh, boy. <laughs> I, that's one of the things oh, that people boy. really skip that episode because of the animation. But there's a lot of dialogue there. But I want to ask you and your commenter something, though, before we get out of here. Well, we're going to have them vote in the upper right-hand corner. Which one do you like more, Omen or Mastered? My question is to you and to your commenters. I know you said that we're not going to bring up the manga, but since we both agree here that Omen's badass and we like him more, I, are you a bit upset that we may not get it in the manga? I'm not because, number one, the manga has not been too good in the past few months, and I really <laughs> stopped caring as much as I did. <laughs> I don't care as much as I used to. I'm still going to cover it, but it's just not that important to me anymore. And number two... Uh, one of the things that Gabby brought up was how is Toyotaro going to be able to replicate that omen form in the manga when you can't do the R with the special effects in the anime? Like, you know, it's it's all still right. pictures. So it would be more challenging for him to do omen. So I think he's just going to skip to Mastered. I mean, I'm not bummed out about it. It's just what's whatever to me. You know what I mean? He always changes things. No, I get you. I get you. Yeah. All right. Well, let us know. Vote omen. Or uh, mastered and let us know why. And thanks for being here, MJ. Of course. We'll talk to y'all soon.